when the narcissist goes silent. The narcissist will give you the silent treatment. A stubborn refusal to talk to you. Especially after a recent argument or disagreement. Which is designed to punish you by them being indirectly resistant to your demands. And it's intended to make you guess about why they're behaving that way. To make you do all of the work. To make you try to correct the problem. So you may try to make things right. You may try to talk to them. But they're just playing a game with you. You may have done something that was of little importance. Something that wasn't a big deal. But the narcissist will blow it out of proportion. They will exaggerate it to make you feel bad about it. Because they want to make you suffer. So they will go silent. Because now you don't know what's going on. You don't know why they're not talking to you. But it's all just a game. To see how much you're willing to tolerate from them. And if you try to fix it, they know they've got you under their control. So they will be distant. They will act like they don't care. As though they have no particular interest in you. As though they're unconcerned. To show you that there is a disconnect. To cause you to feel anxiety. To make you feel like you've done something wrong. They're not connecting with you. They're not talking to you. Which causes you to feel worried and nervous. Where you have a strong desire and concern to do something or for something to happen. It increases your eagerness and desire. It makes you long and yearn for the narcissist to come back. It causes you to become very impatient. Where you may show a tendency to be quickly irritated and provoked. And you may have tried to fix things already. You may have tried to make things right. But it's still going on and on. Because that's the whole point of them doing it. That's the purpose of their tactic. To make you feel like a fish out of water. To make you feel out of place. To make you feel unhappy and uncomfortable. To make you feel like you lack experience, familiarity and expertise. To leave you walking on eggshells. Where you become extremely cautious about your words and actions. You become very careful not to offend or upset them. Because they get angry very easily and you don't know what's coming next. They do this to make you agitated and confused. To cause disturbance and problems which interrupt how you naturally function. Because then that gives your power to them. They have control over you. They can dictate how you feel. They can encourage and make unfair use of your emotions to give themselves an advantage. To cause you to experience a state of dissatisfaction, disturbance and agitation. Where you're constantly wondering what they're going to do next. The narcissist will often suggest or hint 
in an indirect and unpleasant way that they're going to do something harmful to you in return for something you have done. They constantly keep you thinking that they could possibly do something, but then maybe they won't. To put you in a difficult situation that you can't get out of. So now they can control your actions from something that was small and of little importance because now you're already experiencing so much anxiety so now they don't even need to go through with their threat to retaliate which may make you feel reassured and relaxed following release from anxiety and distress but this is actually how they gain further control of you because now you don't want this to happen again. So you begin to adapt to this type of treatment to deal with them. You begin to examine yourself. You automatically do whatever they expect you to do. Because you're trying to avoid the anxiety and the punishment that may or may not happen. But they put it on your mind. They keep you thinking about what might be coming next, what they're about to do, why they've gone quiet, why they haven't talked to you for a few days. You're going through all of these potential sequences or developments of events. You're coming up with all of these different possibilities for why this is happening, which is exactly how they want you to be. They want you to be guessing and wondering about what's next, which is why you end up suffering from stress and emotional exhaustion. You're always on edge. You're always tense, nervous and irritable because you're unable to relax. You're constantly thinking about what they're going to do next and sometimes they're not even doing anything. They're just watching you. They're seeing how it affects your behavior. They're seeing if it causes you to behave angrily or emotionally. And then they might come back and do a kind gesture for you. They will do something to give you hope that things will return to normal. Things are going to be okay but then they will do something later that same day to cause you anger and displeasure because it's all a game. But people who are serious and really love you won't play those games. This is just what narcissists do. Sometimes they stop but they always start again. They will always go back to playing the same games again and again. The games never end. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.